Hi, welcome to the Boca Voice, and I'm pleased today to actually have a homegrown talent, Kendra Erica. It's not very often that I get out of the political space and talking about things, but I'm very fortunate today to be here with Kendra Erica. And yeah. she's so, I'm so pleased to have you. I mean, I've known your mom for so long. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's great. It's great to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you. I, I love I love Boca and I love the, the view. It's a very inspiring thing to look at every single day. It reminds you of your roots, yet it, it shows you what the, the sky is the limit. So it's a very inspiring thing. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a singer, uh, singer songwriter, and recording artist, and I grew up here in the lovely city of Boca. And I've been performing in musical theater, uh, school theater, and I've just been performing in a lot of restaurants, lounges around here in in South Florida. And my my main thing is. I, I love to songwrite. I love to have my own identity as, as an artist because you can sing as many covers as you want to, but when you actually write your own music and you have your own message and identity, it's a very rewarding thing. So that's what I've been focusing mainly on is my singer-songwriter recording career. And it, it's just been a, a lovely a lovely journey and it's been an incredible sense of growth in, in there as well and it's led to to my my billboard uh song oasis and it's, now you got great news last night yes last night i actually received a text when i was performing a vino wine bar here in boca which is I was, one of my favorite bars in all of boca vino wine bar I was performing there last night and you know every thursday the the new billboard charts come out sure. So I got a, a text from my mom who got a text from my the, the billboard promoter I'm working with out in, in LA and he said, Oasis just reached number nine. So it broke through the gates of the top 10 and I'm, I, I feel very blessed today to be announcing this. So it's, it, it's, it's just a, it's a good feeling That's like awesome. breaking into the top 10. So who's your first call? When you heard that you hit number nine, who's your first call? Well, I, I was singing at the time, like I just looked over and I read the, the text and, and I was just like, ooh, and then that actually put a little, you know, kick in my steps while I was performing. I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we're doing very well here, so. That's great. Let's take a small break and let's listen to the actual video Oasis. And you can actually not listen, but actually watch the video Oasis so that you can see exactly what Kendra has put together for us.
wow, was that not an incredible video? <laughs> what was that experience like making that video? Well, the the video is, is a lyric video, and it just shows you the the lyrics and the messages uh, and the entire message of the of the song, which is finding the silver lining in any in any situation. And the concept of an oasis was brought to me. Um, in a very inspiring way when I was in LA and I was recording in, in the valley and it's very dry there and it's like a desert and I was looking out and I was just letting anything inspire me. Now keep in mind I I was writing the song with uh, Damon Sharp and Giselle Paris in, in LA and we wanted to come up with a, a concept that was that was very you know visually and, and aesthetically strong uh -huh. So just the concept of, of an oasis, you know, it's filled with, you know, palm trees and, you know, natural environmental beauty and and also abstractly, it's it's a it's a place where people just want to get lost in and it's a beautiful place and having having an EDM song, a deep house song, people always love to listen to deep house and EDM and get lost in something. Sure. So just presenting you know, right off the bat in, in in Oasis, it just it just helped the song take a, a stronger form in people's minds and just let them get lost in the experience. So, and I mean, I I love, I'm very I'm very proud of the, of the song because you should be. I'm very proud of it because it's it's a song I've always wanted to create. It has a great beat to it. it has a, a great message. It's it's a very universal message because. You know, you, you you could talk about you could talk about you know sex all, all you want in a in, in a song and and talk about material things and and whatnot. But having a universal message such as Oasis, it just unites people even more, and it's it's uplifting. Was there an inspiration that a moment that actually drove you to creating it? Not really. I mean, just when it's meant to be. This. You have to understand this idea just came to me, and when ideas just come to you and they and they sit nicely in the in the in the vibe that you're trying to create, it it, it just means that it's meant to be, and sure. and you know you can't think too hard when you're creating something. I mean, I've 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 tried to force creativity sometimes, and it just it it doesn't work. Sure. So you just need to let you need to open your mind to. To the environment that you're around, the people that you're with, the, the experiences that you've gone through in life, and just let them affect you, not in a not in a negative way, but in a in a positive way, where you can inspire others to move forward and to and to do the same of of having that that sense of growth. Sure. So, walk me a little bit through your childhood. Okay. Grew up. You're tone deaf. You decided you wanted to be involved in music. Mm -hmm. Walk me through that. How did that work? That's, you know, from being tone deaf to becoming a rock star, <laughs> a pop star. I mean, that's that, that, that's ambitious. Right. Um, you had to have a lot of support. And I know your mom. Know. You know, so yes. your, your mom getting behind you, she's a force of nature to begin with. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, my, my mom is a very strong woman. She inspires me to to want to be the, the woman I, I, I can be and that I am today, actually. And being <clears throat> being toned up at a young age, it, it's sort of discouraging, but at a, at a young age, you're just, you know, going out there, you're having fun, you, you know, you have all the, you have all the confidence in the world. And, but at the same time, it's like you, my, my parents were like, okay, let's take a step back. Let's fine tune your craft. If you really want to pursue a, a career in performing or singing, let's perfect that. And so I, I, I was introduced to this very talented vocal coach who taught me mostly, you know, operatic style, classical style, but it laid down a great foundation technique wise for me. Sure. And from there, I, I branched into jazz, into light pop, into some R&B, and then, then I was like, I, I always admired people that wrote their own music, because it's it's like watching it's like watching an embryo to a fetus to a, a full-grown baby. You know, it's it's like that that process of 
having the twinkle in your eye, having that that spark of I, of idea, and then just taking it and creating it into something that can, you know, just just be impactful to people and and to create a, a sense of unity because music is the most universal concept in the world. Sure. So it actually brings people together. Great. And I I mean I I love I love performing, I love entertaining, but most of all I I love writing my own music because I am an artist. <laughs> Not just a singer. So tell us what you're aspiring to be. What is it you go on and you know you're young and you're vibrant but tell us what's next for you. Well, what's next is that I am actually set to work on the next single, and I'm very excited about that um, because I just love, you know, continuing the momentum and seeing what lies beyond. Sure. And, but I, I also graduated from Lynn University with a, a degree in communications and international business. Awesome. And I feel that that adds longevity not only to career-wise but just to what I can really accomplish and I I want to let all those skill sets and that knowledge that that I have experienced and that I will experience just drive me further and in, into the future what did you think of growing up in Boca Raton and your experiences at Lynn well I I loved it's really funny because I I actually early applied to Lynn and and I got in and I was just like okay I don't need don't want to go through the whole application process again because it is very it is very vigorous sure. you know being a being a junior in high school and you have you know tons of homework and stuff but and I also just wanted to stay stay at Lynn and stay in my hometown because I I, I had a lot of singing gigs and and I still do around town and I if I were to go away to college all that would have to be put on hold and especially sure. my my music career and during during college I, I I did it sort of partially but now it's just it's I am very thankful that it's now just full force and I I can't I I mean I have I have no regrets about having a college education because I feel the, the more knowledge you have the more power you have in in this world so. I couldn't agree with you more. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget, you can actually see you live. Where, where can they see you live here? I know they can see you live in Vino on Thursday nights, correct? Yes, on Thursday nights. And anywhere else in town? And also at C CWS in uh, Lake Worth. Nice. So, and, you know, just just check my, my Facebook page, Kendra Erica Music. And, and also my website, KendraErica.com. And just, you know, stay, stay up to date with my social media and you will see all the other performances and everything else that and I'm doing. And they can download you on iTunes. Yes, you can do that. <laughs> you can do that. So don't forget, because she is young and inspiring and she can also, when you download, you do make money, I assume. I do. <laughs> so we want to make sure that we support a young artist. Yeah. So make sure you can download the, the, the song so she can make a living as well. So thank you so much for joining. We appreciate it. And don't thank forget you. to follow us online and uh, follow us on Facebook at The Boca Voice. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. We thank look you. forward to uh, your huge career. Uh, and as you grow, we look forward. Don't forget us here in Boca Raton as you become a huge star. Uh, we look forward to following you. Absolutely. Thanks again.